Imagine a two-dimensional object in a plane, like a ruler on a table. The ruler can translate in either dimension, forwards and backwards, left and right. Because the ruler is not completely symmetrical, it can also meaningfully rotate around the point. All these motions are degrees of freedom of the object. So in this case, the ruler has three degrees of freedom. While an object has at least one degree of freedom, it is called a mechanism, i.e. it can move. As engineers, our job is generally not to allow movement in structures, so we want to restrict this. There are ways to remove degrees of freedom. Imagine sticking a nail into one end of the ruler. It can no longer spatially translate, but the nail still allows it to rotate. In effect, we have removed two degrees of freedom from the ruler by means of a fixed pin support when allowing rotation but not translation. However, it is still a mechanism because it has one degree of freedom left. We can take this away. Now imagine two more nails at the other end of the ruler, one on either side. On its own, this means that supporting the ruler would only remove one degree of freedom. It still allows rotation and translation from side to side. This support allowing lateral motion is called a roller pin. The two supports together remove all three degrees of freedom from the ruler. Now it's no longer a mechanism. In fact, this method of supporting a ruler or a beam has a special name. It's called simply supported. There's also another way to remove degrees of freedom from the ruler. Simply stick multiple pins into one end this will restrict all three degrees of freedom in one go. The ruler won't be able to translate as before. Now, spacing between the pins also allows the ruler to resist rotation. This type of support that removes three degrees of freedom is called an encaster. And the setup just described with an encaster at one end of the ruler and the other end free is a cantilever. We've gone through three basic types of support and two of the simplest ways to support a singly structural member today.